Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your friend Kevin. I'm here with my friend Freddie and his friend Patrick. And this is your card of the day. So as always, you are all welcome here. And uh, I like to give credit for the tools I'm using. So I am using Guardian Angel Messages, Messages Tarot by Radley Valentine, illustrations by Dan Craig. Uh, and I also am using the Angel Tarot deck uh, to pull the card of the week, which is the moon card with Archangel Haniel. This is the Archangel that works with moon energy, shadow energy, developing our psychic gifts, our intuition more or less, uh, somewhat the feminine side of our intuition. Anyway, each day, uh, this card influences the card of the day and also pulls in the isms. So really, in general, it's an important to bring in psychic insights into whatever the card of the day is and look at some of the events that perhaps are looming behind the scenes, uh, releasing fear and looking at anything that holds us back. <clears throat> All right. Uh, my two isms are every moment of my life is filled with miracles. So be important or be uh, mindful to be grateful for the smallest things, the green lights, if they turn green and you're coming up, um, extra things, pennies on the ground, feathers that you see, any evidence that you see that there's a miracle at play, you give thanks for it and you recognize it. When you recognize it and you're grateful for it, more come. The other one is nothing is more important than my feeling of joy and happiness, period. Right. So, great father in the sky, love and mother and angel ancestors, light workers and beings from all four corners, all realms. I welcome you to this space and I am grateful to be your messenger. I set the intention to see, to feel, to hear and to know your sacred words of wisdom and to convey a message in such a way that it enlightens, inspires and it heals. May this message be a purpose. May this message be of value. May this message have meaning for everyone as I chuck the cards all over the place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to pull a card straight off the top. Well, that one looks like it's off the top enough for me. I don't want to stay in my hand today. Let's see. Oh, wonder, wonder. Hello. <laughs> okay, Gertrude. Yes, she's clapping her hands. And, oh, she's got a pair of dangly earrings on today. Oh, one of them is, okay, I got it. understand. Uh, her earrings today, one of them is an elf in one ear. And the other one is... Um, What's the other one? It's a star. Okay, well, I don't know what that means. She said it doesn't have to mean anything. Get on with the reading. Okay. Um, the moon, both of them, 18, adds an up to the nine. Intuition, illusion, revelation. What I will also say today is that today is a number three. And so the number three day in angel numerology is all about creativity, being playful, being joyful, having fun, finding where to be really, truly imaginative and get as enthusiastic as possible today. Um, get in touch with your ascended masters because the three energy pulls them in. Now, if you're wondering what an ascended master is, mm, Jesus, Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, um, Krishna, um, all of the ones that we talk about, you can even use the saints, Saint Germain, um, Saint Pat, all of them. You can bring them all in if you want to. Uh, they're also ascended ones, are the wise ones that we are connected to, the ones who've ascended into spirit that perhaps we knew, and they could be teachers, they could be anyone that is of wise counsel. Uh, they're with us encouraging us to have joy, be, be, be playful, um, and get truly, truly creative, as if you've got no burdens upon you. Uh, the three of water, or the three of cups in tarot, is what today's 
numerological or numerolog numerological oh, can't talk uh, card is today. Um, I'm just going to say be open to psychic intuition. Be open to things that perhaps you weren't expecting today. Uh, and this goes along with every moment being filled with miracles and nothing more important than joy. Um, we're entering into that joyful season if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, wherever you are. Um, the, the winding down of the year. Uh, we're stepping into Sagittarius, that spiritual energy of transformation. Um, you know, the heaviness, the intensity, the, 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 the depths of Scorpio energy, which is ripping off the Band-Aid and, and without any... You know, my sun is in Scorpio, my rising or my ascendant or my star sign is in Leo. So I've got the fire and the water. Uh, and I can tell when my, when my Scorpio energy is going, there's a depth, there's an intensity, there's a moodiness, there's a, um, oof, that's at play. Um, and then, of course, there's the fiery aspect of Leo that comes to let me know it's time to lift off. It's time to burn all that out, burn all that intensity off, lift that up. Um, I'm trying to ask Beatrice, who is now uh, Beatrice and Gertrude. They're sort of a combination of one energy together, which is really quite interesting. And I was reminded earlier when I was doing meditation by Beatrice that they show up in the way that we can recognize them. They show up in the way that we see them. So um, when I'm asking, what energy are you? They're not any. They're not separate energies. They're one energy, and it is the yin and the yang. Not so much masculine and feminine, but just the balance. The balance of having wisdom and uh, truth and honesty with a certain amount of frivolity. And I was asking, well, how come Gertrude showed up first? And of course, one of my good friends here, and our friend in the um, comments, said she's there to bring you lightness there to bring you joy, there to bring you frivolity, there to lift it up, there to make you giggle and laugh. That is that energy. Uh, and I think that that's sort of the energy of today, why Gertrude shows up in, uh, with odd earrings on. One's a star in this era. It is a sparkly star. It looks like a disco ball, but it's actually a star. And the other one's an elf sitting on the shoulder. Uh, <laughs> Beatrice is just, oh, rolling her eyes. Here we go. Uh, and it's all good. It's all done in fun. That's the energy of today. Find the fun in everything. Find the frivolity in everything. When we're looking at moon energy, when we're looking at our shadow work, it can sometimes pull in the heaviness. Um, and when we start working towards holiday times and we're bringing in uh, folks we may not have seen for a while. Uh, we may have to mix with folks that perhaps we feel a little indifferent about mixing with. All kinds of the personality soup, as I call it, comes in. Um, look for miracles in those communications. Look for creativity in that. Look to see where can I be really, truly creative here? Where can I change and shift the mood of things? Remember, if you're here and you're listening, this is more a prescription for how you can mold your day, how you can use this energy and this information to take charge of situations. Not so much a prediction of what's going to happen, a prescription for how you can work with it, what you can do with it. This is really where I set the intention to see, to feel, to hear and to know the sacred words and to deliver a message that will hopefully inspire, enlighten, and give you the tools that you can use. And with that said, lots and lots of love from all of us. Until tomorrow, bye for now.